There is a banned way to use all skins in game, even ones worth a thousand dollars. From the avatar controversy to this being pay to lose, here are 23 things Fortnite doesn't want you to know. Let's start with the Argentina V-Buck scandal. A couple months ago, people discovered an insane trick, changing their location to Argentina using a VPN. Because every country has a different price for V-Bucks, you could buy thousands for dirt cheap. So Xbox panicked and immediately added a fix, but players were allowed to keep it because they still technically paid for him. That's when fans got a little too greedy, trying a new glitch for even more. They probably should have expected Fortnite to notice, because as they logged on, his skins were revoked with negative V-Bucks in their account. Imagine being a debt to Epic Games. Bruh. And Fortnite also doesn't want you to spot the mistakes in the Avatar collab. Despite this being one of the biggest crossovers, fans pointed out some weird problems with outfits and the mythics. As you zoom into the scrolls, they all have their respective colors. Except, look at the bottom of the pages. Yes, they copy pasted the waterbending symbol symbol on all the scrolls thinking we wouldn't notice. It's not the end of the world, but when people call them out, Epic released a secret update to cover their mistake, hoping we'd all just move on. Well, jokes on you, Fortnite, we caught ya. It's a harmless accident, but then fans turn to the characters themselves. Katara will set you back 2,000 V-Bucks, and for such a steep price, players were hoping they would get Fortnite's insane attention to detail. Their problem was her necklace being a plain blue circle. For reference, this is what it's meant to look like, and they think it could have easily been drawn on. If you do compare Goku and Doctor Strange with very detailed jewelry, I mean, I get it. And the main character himself, Aang, also has a little plot hole. In the show, he gets struck by lightning from Azula, and it leaves a huge scar on his back and foot. Epic knows this, and if you look at his spine in game, you'll see the scar. Pretty cool, but check his foot, yeah, they missed it. It is not the only thing they missed, though. Apparently, the devs messed up the item shop. Lizzo is a popular artist, and in August 2023, she was hit with a wave of allegations, causing her emote to be removed. Now, we have told this story before, but something new happened which had Epic a little embarrassed. The story goes that her emo was scheduled and ready to go, but when things hit the fan, Epic panicked and hid the entire music category that night. Instead of cutting the Pump It Up dance, they sacrificed the whole tab hoping players wouldn't notice. We probably wouldn't have cared until fans from other countries began to point out one huge error. They hid the emote in English, but if you were playing Fortnite in any other language, it would appear perfectly, even letting you buy it. Trying to avoid problems, Epic actually put the spotlight on it and has been hiding this dance ever since. That still doesn't compare to one of Fortnite's craziest mistakes that let players try any skin they wanted for free. Earlier this month, Create a Map started to appear with a ton of outfits and buttons. Honestly seemed like a gimmick until you interacted with it and actually turned into that skin. For the first time ever, we could trial skins without spending a single dollar, and while this was awesome for players, Epic was not happy about it. They accidentally left a setting in the old devices that lets you override the outfits of an entire team. This was only discovered recently, and UEFN creators jumped at the chance to take advantage, but soon, it was all banned. With Miss Immortals, Midas got his own storyline for the first time in four years. It was a big deal. We followed him as he broke out of the underworld, met up with his old crew, took over the yacht, eventually sailing away to new beginnings. But just before they left, the whole crew had special dialogue saying how they were leaving with him and starting from scratch. It was pretty emotional. We were saying goodbye to these beloved characters, and Midas himself appeared on Spawn Island for his final departure. One update later, and the yacht they had taken over was gone. The entire POI vanished along with the whole crew, removing tons of NPCs from the island. The only problem is that they left someone behind. Meow Souls, one of the most iconic members, is still here, and it's pretty awkward because when you talk to him, he's saying he might have to leave town. Uh, I think that ship has sailed literally. From a cat left behind to a guy who never arrived in the first place, Fortnite has been working on a new version of Raptor. We had our first glimpse of this guy in the surveys when fans notice a modern design where he's more of a street artist than an Air Force pilot. We kind of forgot about it until February this year when Epic released the Squabble emote. Usually they post a trailer for these things, and on social media we watched as the new Raptor after Skin came to life, performing the dance, and revealing the full outfit was ready to drop. It looked even better than the surveys, and fans were hyped to see an official teaser from Fortnite. Then we waited and waited as more skins kept releasing. New outfits would appear in trailers and drop weeks later, but not Raptor. It has been almost two months and he is still nowhere to be seen. I'm starting to think Epic forgot about this guy. It turns out they saved their biggest troll for a mode you forgot about. 
All right, well, people still play Team Rumble, but not for nothing, it's actually hiding a massive secret. When the Avatar collab dropped, they introduced four mythics into a game that already had plenty. Obviously, they needed to balance this by pulling a controversial move, deleting all the ancient Greek items, even though they were the entire point of the season. Within hours, we already missed shooting lightning bolts, flying around with wings, and whipping people with the chains of Hades, but not Team Rumble fans. Yes, this whole time, Epic forgot to remove the mythics. All of the items are still available, and players are loving it. Paired with respawn, it feels like the Marvel sees it all over again. Now, to be fair, removing them from Battle Royale was a smart choice because it turns out combining Avatar with Greek mythology, it's a recipe for madness. The reason I know this is by combining the Skull Dash with Firebending. This allows you to teleport while doing a fire kick, and let me tell you, it's absolute chaos. Now, every company in the world misses their deadlines, and Epic is also not 100% perfect. We were only a few days into 2024 when some emotes appeared in the files, showing Winterfest cosmetics that felt, I mean, let's be honest, a little late. The window was missed, and we just thought, well, it's still cold outside, I guess they would work, right? Well, one of them is literally the year 2023 being shaved into ice. Yeah, this is never dropping. Just like how rarities are never coming back. This was a whole controversy which most people know about. In summary, they deleted the entirety rarity system from Fortnite. That means your legendary 2000 V-Buck outfits are now impossible to teleport from the default skins that cost like 800. It was a whole thing and players are pretty upset about it and it turns out things get worse. While they hid rarities from the locker, you could jump into a match right now and look at the pickaxe in your inventory. Notice something? It literally shows the rarity of your harvesting tool right there in game. Now that is just trolling us. And that's not even the craziest thing they're hiding though. Fortnite's most controversial skin just got updated. The Rue outfit is probably one of the most talked about skins of all time, and I have no idea how this was approved. She dropped in Chapter 2 and was meant to look like a high-ranking officer for Shadow, except the minute Rue dropped, everyone realized she looked more like a high-ranking officer for, well, you know. It was humiliating for Epic, who slowly came to grips with what they had done. Instead of apologizing publicly, they swept this under the rug, pretending it never happened, and secretly banned Rue from ever appearing again. Players still got to keep the outfit if they owned it, and that was the end of the story. Or so we thought. Years later, when the files were updated again, they dropped an official LEGO version of Rue. Whenever this happens, it means the skin is coming back to the shop, but not this time. Rue wasn't given an item shop image, confirming she can't appear in the store again anytime soon. They just gave her a LEGO style because eventually every single outfit will have one. Now, not every hidden feature is a bad thing. Sometimes Fortnite is keeping a secret that turns out to be awesome. All right, you know when someone gives a battle pass that lets you choose the design of your present? Well, this whole time, we could unlock more designs and no one ever told us. Depending on what season you send a gift, it will reveal an exclusive box that you keep forever. Sending people the chapter two pass would give you a chess present, but after this, they made the design different colors of the same box, all themed around the season they're unlocked. From golden black for spies, all the way up to chrome for paradise. This has been going on for almost half a decade, yet 99% of players never knew about this. Now recently, we got another way to spend our V-Bucks with the latest Greek skin, Apollo. Seems Epic's dropping more gods into the season. We had Ares in the crew, and now the God of Sun is here, yet his outfit is secretly different to the original design. Thanks to the surveys, we get a hidden look at his concept, and they got him mostly accurate, except Fortnite decided to lower his powers. It means we're missing the flaming hair and only one arm is powered up. It's honestly not that big of a deal, but some players hope there would at least be an edit style where Apollo is super juiced up or reactive. One of the coolest secrets could only be found if you're a noob. Let me explain, everyone's got their own skins these days, after all, there's nearly 2,000 of them. But turns out Fortnite's been hiding 20 free ones right under our noses. If you load up Festival or Rocket Racing and don't equip an outfit, they both have exclusive defaults, a really neat touch for new players, but there's one problem. Fortnite is practically selling these for up to $10, and they're almost identical. Now, I totally recommend checking out the Avatar Mythics while they're still here, because there's an exploit that Fortnite really doesn't want you to know about. Earthbending has a crucial mistake, and it only works if you're right up against the wall. Let's say you're trying to get into an enemy's box, well, you don't even need to. Just get close enough, use the bending, and it'll hit them through walls. Earlier, I talked about how Coachella recently came back and it included some icon series dances. One of these was Paint the Town Red by Doja Cat, but despite everyone's excitement, we loaded up the emote only to realize half the song was censored. This would be understandable if they were swear words, until fans pointed out how Fortnite muted the word devil. I don't know if Epic did this intentionally, but after fans called them out, they promised to reverse this in a future update. Players are still confused over the decision to hide quest rewards. This season, for the first time ever, we logged in, viewed the battle pass, and were blocked from seeing the bonus style 
allows for Medusa and Aphrodite. Before we always knew what the extra rewards would be before spending our money, with the only hidden part being Super Styles. But now everything was a total mystery. We had to rely on leakers to do Epic's job for them. And sadly, no one's gonna help us bring back Augments. It feels like overnight, Fortnite just decided to get rid of them forever. They didn't warn us at all. The files showed that Fortnite was actively working on Chapter 5 Augments that would make the game super fresh. But clearly, as they were making them, it just wasn't turning out right. So they deleted the entire mechanic along with dozens of unreleased perks. Maybe they're planning on making every season packed full of mythics and this would just complicate things. However, what Fortnite didn't tell you is that when we bought bulky outfits like Bender, he would become pay to lose. At the time, we didn't have weapon mods and a ton of first person sights, so it wasn't a problem until chapter five released. This gave us an overhaul of the loot pool and soon players noticed their skins were ruining their aim. I mean, I could barely see them. Earlier, I mentioned how broken earthbending could be, but if you prefer airbending, it could be even more busted. By combining it with flow berries and shockwave grenades, it becomes the best rotation strategy in the entire game. But I need you guys to know about this ridiculous trick in LEGO Fortnite. The vehicles are absolutely terrible. I'm not gonna lie, no one wants to drive these around cause they just fall over constantly. Epic didn't account for this since there isn't a flip button. So if you tip your vehicle, that's it, time to give up. Well, unless you have a fishing rod. <laughs> Whoever discovered this needs a medal or something. I have no idea why Epic is hiding this feature from you. Those are things that Fortnite is hiding from you. This has been Tommy and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.